Welcome to today's video, which is going to be all about the 10 best holiday slash winter eyeshadow palettes. I have been doing so many videos about eyeshadow palettes lately that I did decide to create an eyeshadow palette playlist. I will link that in the description box if you want to see more. I've been doing tons of different eyeshadow palette videos. I did do a best eyeshadow palettes for fall video and I was going to do a winter version and then one of you guys actually requested it as well and I've seen a lot of other people do this where they do like the best winter palettes, the best fall palettes, the best spring palettes. So. I thought it would be fun to do. I'm definitely not someone who wears seasonal makeup all the time. A lot of days I just kind of wear what I feel like wearing. As far as winter seasonal makeup though, I do imagine a lot of cool tones, red berry shades, and a lot of sparkly eyeshadows. So that's just me. That's kind of what I gravitate towards a little bit in this season. And yeah, let's just get into this video. These are in no particular order. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Dose of Colors. This is the Friendcation palette. I'm definitely late to getting this one. I only got it a couple of months ago. It's been 50% off on the Dose of Color website, so I finally decided to get it, and it is beautiful. Now, what I think makes this very holiday slash winter is that these are incredibly sparkly eyeshadows. I've used this blue multiple times. I love it. The quality on the mattes is really, really good too. So. If you like sparkly eyeshadows, but you don't want actual glitter or pressed glitters, this is what I would recommend. A formula like this, where it's a sparkly eyeshadow, but it's not a glitter. I don't like pressed glitter eyeshadows, and I don't like using separate glitters. I used to own the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadows, but it's just not a me product, but I know that a lot of people own the Stila Glitters or the Urban Decay ones or just separate glitters that come in a jar. And if you have things like that, you probably don't need an eyeshadow palette like this with such sparkly shades. But for me, I just think using an eyeshadow that is sparkly is so much easier for me than using a separate additional glitter type product. And I don't wanna get glitter in my eyes and things like that. These have not caused me any eye irritation or anything of that matter, but I think this is a beautiful. I love the sparkles. The quality is amazing. I do use a wet brush with these, but I haven't found the need for a glitter glue. And yes, this is a beautiful palette for this time of year. This palette is actually in my winter makeup basket and I wore it in a recent video in my Roulette Pan Collab update. This is the Blushing Berries by also Dose of Colors. I really like their five pan palettes. I think their matte formula is very, very high quality. It is a bit powdery, but it blends very well. These are, yeah, four berry shades and a black. Really like the quality on this. Very pigmented, but they're very easy to blend. I will say sometimes really pigmented, like reds or magenta shades, can be difficult to blend, but not this one. I find this palette incredibly easy to work with. I really enjoy it. I definitely wear these five pan palettes, usually with some glittery, sparkly eyeshadows from other palettes, but of course you could always create an all matte look. So this formula is really good and I actually have three of these all matte five pan palettes. This next palette is also one that I find to be a very good companion palette and that is the Pat McGrath. This is the mini Sublime palette. Now this one is lacking matte shades, so I combine this with palettes with mattes. Of course you could do an all shimmer look, but what I love about these is the intensity. These are very foiled and metallic and I don't even need to use a wet brush with them. I absolutely love these, particularly these three. This one is a matte with some shimmer in it, but honestly on the eyes, it just mostly looks matte. I think this is a great quality palette. If you want some intense but neutral foiled eyeshadows that are easy to work with, this palette is amazing. These have been on sale for a very, very long time. I don't know if she's getting rid of them or what the deal is with that, but they've been 50% off for most of this year. The quality is great though. I really like it. The packaging, it's a little bit cheapy, but I think the quality is great. And again, another really good companion palette. This next one I've talked about so much lately, but it's really, really good. And I cannot stop talking about it. It's the BH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona palette. And to me, I consider this kind of like a winter themed palette because you get these cool toned blues and you do get some cool toned mauve shades. So I think this would really be good for this time of year. I've worn it quite a bit. You do have some warm colors like this peach and this warm brown. So there's definitely a lot of balance to this palette. There's also a lot of darker shades. So if you do like the more smoky looks, 
This is a great palette. The formula on this, it's amazing. I've been raving about BH Cosmetics nonstop lately, and I did recently rank my BH Cosmetics palettes. I think this one is perfect for the winter season and the quality is fantastic. Kind of saving the cooler tone palettes for the end, but this next one, again, I think would be amazing and it is the Milani Bold Obsessions. I know, I talk about this one so much. I love it. This one is more warm toned, except these three here are more cool toned. You get these which are incredibly foiled and metallic. The mattes blend so well. This is a palette where you could do some really, really easy daytime looks, or you could do something pretty dramatic for nighttime. I think the quality is fantastic. I love these Milani palettes, and yeah, I think this one is amazing. And I definitely think of like gold eyeshadow for kind of the holiday season and winter for sure, even though I think a lot of people consider gold more of like a summer color. I don't know, to me, I think more of bronzes in the summer and gold more this time of year, but obviously you can wear whatever you want whenever you want to wear it, but I think this one is great. All right, before I talk about the more cool tone palettes, I'm just going to give a bit of an honorable mention just to talk about quickly the eyeshadow palette that I am wearing, which is my newest palette, the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I got this with the $25 off coupon from Sephora, and I'm wearing this today, um, which is why I'm mentioning it. And again, this is a cool toned palette. So I gotta say, a cool toned eye look with a red lip like I'm wearing today, I love it. And I think it's super glamorous and very kind of winter and seasonally appropriate. So this is my only first time using this palette, so I cannot give many thoughts on that. I do like how my eye look turned out, but not many thoughts here, but I know that a lot of people do own this palette and I think it would be perfect for this time of year. Now, I also own some other cool tone palettes, which I know a lot of people have done videos comparing these palettes to the Glam palette. Soft and Sultry by Milani. This is amazing. If you want cool toned smoky looks, this is the palette for you. It is still available. It's a little harder to find, just like the Bold Obsessions but they are in stock on the Milani website last I checked. This one has some deeper shades than the Glam palette. The quality on this is really, really amazing. And I will say overall, this does seem a bit even more cool toned than the Glam palette. This is one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection. It is so good. And again, winter time, a cool toned eye look with a red lip. I absolutely love it and this one is so good and this is one of the best priced palettes for how good it is it's just that fantastic now another one that was compared to the glam palette sultry and i know a lot of people consider this a super glam cool toned palette and i've hit pan on multiple shades i really love this one now for me i think owning this and the glam and the soft and sultry I think they're different enough for me, but you really don't need all three. I mean, I think if you want a palette with some cool tone smoky shades, you could just get one of these and would be set. Um, I will say that the, the Glam palette doesn't have that many dark shades. I think the Sultry and the Soft and Sultry have some deeper shades, um, so you can really get that depth and a look. This has this random coral shade, which I don't even know why that's in here, that I do not like that color at all, but I also don't like coral on my eyes. I feel like it makes me look like I have pink eye, but this palette also has some bronzes, amazing chocolate brown here. You get a very gray matte. You get an amazing silver cyborg. I love that one. This palette is amazing and they did re-release it in like a vault type collection that's available on ABH. Um, I don't know if they're gonna release just the palette. I think that's kind of weird they released it with the vault. To me, it just seems like a money grab to get people to pay more. I'm not sure. I Maybe they have released just the palette on its own. I think that they should. This is one of the best products ABH has released and I have not had interest in a release from them in a very, very long time, but this one is Fantastic. Well, if you want cool tones and you don't like bigger palettes like those, this quad by Charlotte Tilbury is beautiful. This is the Rock Chic quad. And again, very gray and silver. Absolutely amazing. Very easy to work with. Great formula. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the Charlotte Tilbury quads. I avoided getting them for a long time, even though I was interested. 
$53 for or four eyeshadows is a lot, but I own this one and the Bella Sophia now. I did get them both on sale, but I think they are really good. It's a nice formula and it's just easy to work with. And there's not much to think about because there's only four shades. So I think that the Rock Chic Quad is absolutely amazing. And it definitely pulls more like slate and gray than any of those other palettes that I have mentioned. All right, this next palette to me is kind of like the ultimate New Year's Eve palette, even though I'm not gonna go anywhere for New Year's. And normally I'm not that into New Year's, honestly. It's kind of a stressful holiday for me just because the traffic is crazy and it's impossible to get a cab. Anyway, I digress, but I still like smoky and intense New Year's makeup. This palette is by Ofer Cosmetics. This is their Black Friday palette. I think this was a limited edition thing that they sold this year on Black Friday. I did get this in PR. However, if you have the ColourPop, it's called Blowing Smoke now, it used to be called Smoke Show. That palette seems, again, I don't own it, but it seems awfully similar to this one. Not identical, of course, but I think you could do some really intense cool tone smoky looks. There are a lot of darker shades in this palette, so it's perfect for, you know, an evening look for sure. I really like the Ofra formula. I did a review and a look on my Instagram using this palette and it's really, really interesting. This is pretty unique to my collection. I would say the only somewhat similar one is this um, Charlotte Tilbury quad because the other palettes like the Soft and Sultry and the Sultry, they're not quite this like slate gray. You know, you definitely don't need both of these, but I think if you have that ColourPop one, it seems awfully similar to these and you could do some pretty awesome gray slate smoky looks. The last palette is one I have talked about so much, but I can't stop talking about it. I love it that much and that is the BH Royal Affair palette. Again, this has some amazing cool tones. You do get a silver, but this one also does have a few burgundies in here, which I think are really nice, and some a taupey bronze. I really love this palette. It really is one of my favorite in my collection. I feel like BH Cosmetics needs to re-release this one because it's that good. So this one, I think there's a lot of variety. Also, this awesome light blue shimmer here is super cool. It's kind of similar to my nail polish. I really like that one. I love this whole palette. There's so much variety in here, but you can just do so many different looks. You can go more cool tone. You can do burgundy. You can really, really smoke a look out with this palette and this formula. It's amazing. I love it. Alrighty, that is it for this video. Um, there definitely are some kind of repeat looking eyeshadows in all these palettes. I definitely don't need all of them, particularly in that great cool toned family. But I think it's fun to play around with some cool tones because as we know for many years, the warm tones were pushed very, very heavily. But yeah, these are just some really fun holiday palettes. Please let us know what your favorites are for the winter time. Do you wear seasonally appropriate makeup or do you just wear whatever you want? Honestly, most of the time I wear whatever I want. I will link my eyeshadow palette playlist where you can see more eyeshadow palette related videos. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.